Hello everyone, I'm Major Jip, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Cade KK9803. This is a very small shortwave radio that I ordered direct from Hong Kong on eBay. It cost me about $8 shipped, which isn't bad at all. Because, uh, I don't know, you won't expect to get as good of a thing as this is for $8. Uh, but talking about this thing, it's actually built a whole lot more sturdy, a whole lot sturdier than I would have expected it to. I mean, it's a little cheap on the back, but it does have a fair bit of weight to it when you have batteries in it, and plastic doesn't seem insanely cheap. I mean, I've spent, I've um, bought cheaper speaker so systems that had uh, cheaper plastic than this. So I was kind of surprised by that, because I expected it to be, like, in pieces when I got it out of the package. Uh, talking about the package, what I got in it was this radio and some uh, bubble wrap. No instructions or anything. And the instruction, the lack of instructions, I should say, was a bit problematic at first, because um, this doesn't have uh, English for what these lights do. Um, now I can tell you that this is the FM... Uh, this is the AM, and this is the uh, tuning to tell you how in tune you are, but I had to learn that. And this, I'm not sure what that says at all. I'm sure it says AM, FM, and shortwave, but I'm not certain. Uh, I believe that means uh, I see a 10 there, so it's probably 10 band, and uh, worldwide maybe. I don't know. But, um,. Let's take a closer look at the uh, actual thing itself. Alright, so you have the front panel, you have the tuning display, which shows um, the frequency ranges and the numbers that correspond to the shortwave settings on the bottom. So if you set it to 5, you can get anywhere from 13.5 to 14.7 uh, kilohertz, I believe, because it's running on the AM band, I think, anyway. Um, yeah, and you have this push button here that switches it from AM mode or FM mode. And uh, when you turn the thing, you turn the unit off and back on again, it always defaults to the FM mode, which is uh, kind of unexpected, but I guess it does make sense. Or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Uh, on the side, you have a tuning knob and a power switch. I, uh... I believe that's a hard power switch, too. I think that goes directly into the uh, battery line. Uh, you have the back panel with a little door. And uh, this was Cade Quality Control Passed. And they put two stickers there. Uh, that probably doesn't mean anything about the quality, but... And uh, anyway, <laughs> getting off track. Uh, this little stand here, so you can set it on the table and run the antenna up and, you know... You can do just that, basically. But, um, it's, this is the only part of it that actually feels really flimsy. And, uh, you really have to be careful of that, or it'll just break off. Which, if it did break off, it's not the biggest deal, but, you know. Uh, the volume knob, which doesn't seem to be, uh, very well, uh, stuck onto the main, uh, uh, potentiometer. It's just sort of flops around. Uh, but it does work, and it hasn't uh, broken yet, so it's not too bad. An earphone, which, um, earphone jack, which does put out, um, stereo, or should I say, um, uh, doubled mono, because it doesn't pick up anything stereo as far as I can tell, and it just, uh, doubles the mono for each left and right channel. Um, but the intro something that I find bizarre is that the left channel is a whole lot quieter than the right channel if you use headphones. I'm not sure if that's just a defect with this one, or, you know, all of them are like that. I could believe it's a defect with this one, because, I don't know, went a long way. It's just being bubble wrap. Uh, it has DC 3 volts in. Um, not much to say about that. It looks like a standard barrel plug. Um, you have an antenna, which is a generous amount long, which I can't really show. Um, and the antenna is the 
other thing that feels really cheap because it feels very uh, feels like you could eat break it very easily and um, in fact when I got this thing from the package the antenna when I first pulled it out it was bending to the left which is uh, great but it does work so it's not a big deal uh, oh I forgot to mention the uh, FM and medium wave or AM band tuner right there probably already saw that anyway but figure I'll show it um, now this is branded a Kate I've also seen this exact same radio branded as like three other brands on eBay so um, I don't know what actual uh, well actually no uh, nowhere do any people know uh, <clears throat> what am I trying to say uh, stuff in China is always branded and you never really know who the true manufacturer in China is and this is one of the things that they sell to OEMs and they brand them like uh, Cade makes a whole lot of other random radios or at least brands other random radios anyway I'm getting off of track so um I can't really show right now it working because there's a lot of stuff in my room that messes with the AM band so I'd have to go outside but it's raining right now and Usually when it's there's big clouds in the sky, uh, any sort of radio doesn't tend to pick up very well anyway. Um, so that was just a look, a look through um, the radio itself, and I'll have another video up soon, actually doing tuning outside to give me the best possible results. And um, new battery and old one do not use together. Mm. Interesting. That does make sense. Uh, a bit interestingly uh, worded there. But didn't go with an instruction manual, so I can't laugh at bad translations, which is kind of sad. I got used to that. Um, and just takes two AA alkaline batteries. And I'm not sure if you could see in there, but um, this thing is made about as cheaply as anything could possibly be made. It has a cheap little, a uh, really cheap um, circuit board. It has really bad looking connectors, not connectors, solder points inside. Um, it has an integrated circuit in there which probably controls the uh, AM and FM switching. Um, so if you buy one of these there's a chance it's not going to work because these things aren't made the best. I mean they're made in some factory in China for and sold for dirt cheap so you know I've seen a lot of people who bought radios or not seen a lot of people but you know read up online and a lot of people bought radios similar to this and they just didn't work uh, this one does work um, and uh, you know see the lights on there that's for the FM uh, let me just try and tune into a station real quickly. Alright, so this is just a quick example of the uh, sound quality that plays at. Um, this is tuned into a local radio station uh, broadcasting about 30 miles or so down from my house. And uh, what I will mention about the FM tuning is it's very powerful. Um, it picks up a lot of stations that most radios don't pick up. I mean, I have a couple uh, big old transistor radios with uh, amplified antennas, and they pick up pretty well, but this thing picks up more. More and clearer. Um, but also, it's a mono, so it has one less stream of, uh, I don't know, radio... What am I trying to say? Uh, it has a little bit more leadway in regards to uh, noise and picking up noise because it doesn't have the two channels to pick up. It has only one. Uh, that is, if I'm understanding uh, FM correctly, because I might not be. But um, anyway, <clears throat> I want to get away from uh, things that I don't know about. <laughs> Let's turn it up.
And uh, you might have, you might have been able to tell from there. The sound isn't all that bad. It goes really loud too, which is kind of surprising. It doesn't sound too bad, but, um... Alright, so, uh... That's about all I'm going to be uh, showing today. Uh, I'll upload a video soon uh, with actually tuning it outside, where there's uh, nothing to throw off. There's no interference or anything. And then we'll see how much it could pick up out there. Um... So until then, this is Major Jip signing out. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I don't know. Do <laughs> like the video. I don't know. But um, yeah, Major Jip signing out. <laughs>